So setting up your class in Edpuzzle is super easy to do. So when you come to Edpuzzle when you're at the home and you've signed in, so I'm signed into my account, if I just click on my classes, I'll see all my classes over here on the left-hand side um, of the screen. And it's really easy to uh, create your own class, but if you're using Google Classroom, um, which I highly recommend, obviously, um, you can just import your class right from Google Classroom and it'll bring your, stu your students right in. So um, I can either click here to add a class and give my class a name. So I'll just show you both ways. Um, so this is uh, creating, I'm going to say, a class from scratch. Just so you see um, the difference between the two of them. Okay. And so then you can just click here. Do you see like it, you know, they do the hard work for you. So they're like, hey, do you want to invite your students? And then so you can just give them a code or um, you could share this link through, cla through Classroom if you're using Classroom for them. So they, you can enter this code into their account and they'll join. Um, so they'd go to edpuzzle.com. They'd sign in as a student, enter that code, good to go. Okay. The easiest way to do it is to just say import from Google Classroom. And so they'll load all of my classes. So you'll see all of my classes right here. So I have a couple of classes running right now. I'm going to be doing this with you guys, but you're not technically in my class right now when I'm doing it. So, um, but you'll see this because you're gonna get an experience of doing this uh, here. So um, I can just click on a class. I have a couple of classes running right now. If I do this one, um, get into Google Sites and then I, I'm just gonna click import um, and then bam, it brings in all of my students for me. So if I click on this class, so great. Like I, um, I have all of my classes here and then I can just go ahead and assign a lesson right from this dashboard, but I can also click on members and then you'll see all of my students from that particular class there and then you can change a password so forth if you need to. Um, if you click on a student, you can uh, edit their name for them. And then you have this like reset password. You can remove students. So then if I come back here and I go to assignments, here's where I can create and assign my lessons. So I can assign a lesson that I've already created. So I click assign a lesson. And then you'd see all of your lessons here. Um, or you could create a new lesson for students to um, to work from right from this uh, interface. So that is as crazy as it gets to actually create your classroom in um, a puzzle.